What up, B Squad? It is your boy JB, and we are here today, you guys, with Let's Get Into the. Nope. We are here today with They Couldn't Have Fooled You Guys. So, before we go ahead and jump into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking out on this date and then having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel turning on your post notifications and sharing the video you guys and with that out of the way without further ado let's go ahead and discuss what they tripping off of shall we all right you guys so the first thing that i want to talk about is something that happened last saturday and it happened literally as i was getting ready to leave to fly to dc for the weekend for memorial day right so, and the crazy part about it was, <laughs> just like how she got arrested, it's about Nicki Minaj before we even talk about it. She got arrested out there, what, leaving Amsterdam, going somewhere, I forgot where she was going, <clears throat> but that's what happened. She got arrested and <clears throat> in her bag, they found some pre-rolls in there. Now, I know people are saying that the pre-rolls was her securities. But the question that I would have with that is, if that was the case, if the pre-roll is her securities pre-rolls, why were they in her bag? Kind of confusing, right? Then the question that I have is, you know, y'all didn't think to say, hey, yeah, weed may be legal here in Amsterdam, but you know, let me look and see if you can travel across, you know, you can travel to different places with the weed. I would have done that, but you know, then she started blaming people, you know, saying people are out to get her. I do not believe that people are out to get you. I just think that this was a momentary lapse in judgment on either her part or her security part. It was just a momentary lapse in judgment. It's the same thing like, cause the, what I was laughing about was when I was leaving last Saturday to go to DC, I had ordered from this company called Mood, where you can buy pre-rolls, you can buy, you know, you can just buy gummies, you can buy some, you know, vapes, you can buy actual, you know, the actual weed and, you know, grind it up yourself. Like, I bought that and I was like, I would love to take this to DC with me, but I knew that if I took my black ass to any airport here at DFW, DFW Airport or even Love Field, baby, the dogs would have sniffed me out and I would have been sent on my way to a jail cell here in Texas, you know, because it's not legal here. Now, we don't know the particulars of what happened because she was, but they arrested her, I think it was for what, five, five hours or so. I just, you know, it just, I don't know, you guys. I don't believe anybody's after her. I truly don't believe anybody's after her. I just, like I said, I just feel like it was just a momentary lapse in judgment. I feel like it was a momentary lapse in judgment. Because, like I just said a few minutes ago, you have to know the lay of the land. You have to know the rules, the laws, the regulations, where you are. Yes, it's legal in, in uh, Amsterdam, but obviously... You can't travel with it from place to place. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Like I said, she live streamed it. Was that, you know, part of me can understand why she did that just in case something were to happen to her. And you know, it's an interesting situation when you, when you think about it, right? I thought we all had learned like don't take no shit like that with you after the stuff that happened with Brittany Griner when she was in Russia where she completely forgot that she had her, her bait pens and they detained her. Like this could have been this could have been far worse. This could have been far worse for Nikki, but hey. It is what it is. I think she got a fine, if I'm not mistaken. But let's read this article. It says, um, in a video live stream to her followers, Nicki Minaj revealed 
that she had pre-rolled joints in her bag that she said belonged to someone else. That's, again, I, I'm gonna say this again, that's fine that you there was someone else's, but why is it in your bag? Why is it not in that person's bag? You're the star. If it's your security, nothing of personal against them, but if it's your security, why is it not in their bag? I'm just asking the question that needs to be asked. So the Netherlands classifies marijuana, which is legal in the country, as soft drugs. It says after initially resisting the authorities' request that she get into a police vehicle, arguing that she needed a lawyer present, she eventually relented and got inside. During her transport, she told the officers she was worried she might not be able to make her, her next show. The officer assured her that she would, that they would um, try to get her there as soon as possible. After her release from police custody, she jumped on X, formerly known as Twitter, to provide further details of her encounter. She said police said they found weed, and that other, and that another group of people have to come here to weigh the pre rolls, referencing pre roll marijuana joints that are typically bought in stores. Keep in mind. They took my bags without consent. My security had already advised them those pre-rolls belonged to him. She continued, oh yeah, and the pilot wants to uh, wants me to take my Instagram post down. Hours later, Minaj updated her fans claiming that after sitting in a jail cell for five to six hours, my plane still didn't take off for another 20 minutes once I boarded. In another tweet, Minaj then blamed her former management for her travel woes, accusing them of adding thirty to 50000 um, on my jet and pocketing it. She claimed their goal was to make me late and to pocket 40000 by forcing her to miss one flight and book another flight. Jelly sea is a disease. You know the rest, she wrote. Minaj is scheduled to perform in Paris. Girl, like I said a few minutes ago, it's just honestly a lack of accountability again I got the notion that the pre-rolls was someone else blown to somebody else that's not that's okay I get what you're saying but my question then follow up is why weren't the pre-rolls in their bag why right why did they stick them in your bag of all people why did they stick them in your bag it is what it is let me know what you guys think about that, and, you know, you live and you learn, right? You live and you learn, and like I said, like I said, with her, I just feel like, why would, I just, I wonder, why would some like, yo, security, why would they put them in, I just, I still had the same question, why would your security put them in, your pre-rolls in your bag? That makes no sense to me. They don't have their own luggage. I'm, I'm just kind of confused by that. But whatever, I guess. I guess I don't know. Let me know again. Let me know what you guys think about that, and we'll pause here and we'll move on to the next story. The next story is Sean Kingston. You guys, I ain't never been a fan. I was never a fan of Sean Kingston. When he first came out, I never liked him. Never, never, never. I hated that song, Beautiful Girls. God, I hated that song so much. I could not stand that song, but there's neither here nor there. It says, Sean Kingston and mother arrested on fraud, theft charges after home raided by SWAT. Now, Sean Kingston, over the last couple of years, you don't hear nothing about music from that dude at all. All you hear about is legal stuff where he owes people money and shit, but okay. So we're reading this article from USA Today, and it says, Sean Kingston has been arrested after the singer's home in South Florida was subject to a police and SWAT team raid Thursday morning. Kingston was apprehended without incident Thursday evening by police in Fort Irwin, California, after the Broward Sheriff's Office issued an arrest warrant for numerous fraud and theft charges. BSO Public Information Officer Kerry Codd told USA Today in an email Thursday, Kingston will be booked into a jail in San Bernardino, according to investigators. Codd previously said that, the, said that detectives, along with Davie Police SWAT, served arrest and search warrants at a residence in Southwest Ranches after an investigation. 
the investigation resulted in the arrest of Sean Kingston, uh, of Kingston's 62-year-old mom, Janice Turner, for numerous fraud and theft charges. According to Local News 10, the beautiful girl singer was not present on the property. USA Today has reached out to representatives for Kingston's for comment. The details of Turner's arrest are unclear at this time. That ain't what I wanted to do. It says earlier this month, Turner was sued in a civil lawsuit by Curian Living Trust for $100,000 in unpaid rent. Wow. For a different location in Florida than the arrest. Thursday, according to Broward County Court documents obtained by USA Today, Kingston is also facing legal trouble after being sued for breach of contract and fraud by Verver. Is that how you pronounce that? Verver Entertainment in February for allegedly failing to pay for a 232-inch TV. Bitch, I know they made this. What? What does a 232-inch TV look like? 232 inch TV. I am so curious. That's got to be like a theater. That's got to be like one of those big ass projectors for a theater, right? Where do you buy that shit at? Where do you buy Samsung and Sam? It's, there's one made by Samsung. Samsung's gigantic 232 inch 8K. The wall TV ships globally in this is in twin this is a big ass TV. My God. That is a big ass TV. <laughs> and then when you Google a 232 inch TV, the only thing that pops up is Sean Kingston. I'm not paying for it. That damn TV. That is a lot. That is a big ass TV. Okay, so it says, um, for allegedly failing to pay for a 232 inch TV and premium sound system court documents show. The company alleged the singer flaunted his celebrity status, particularly a connection to Justin Bieber. Oh, wow. To negotiate the price. It says they are asking for 30,000 and attorney's fees in a trial by jury. Attorney Denise Card, who represents the company, told uh, Local 10 News outside of the raid on Thursday they plan to get the equipment back. Quote, he basically has a sales pitch that goes through to defraud people. He included them into get he in he induced them into giving him really expensive things. Card said, "We know that our property is inside this house right there, right here. So as soon as the raid takes place, we are going to have a crew of people in there to reassemble it and take it back to its rightful owner." First of all, the fact that, that that man has used Justin Bieber as a bargaining chip, that should have told y'all something right there. When is the last time y'all heard anything from, wait, when is the last time y'all heard anything from Justin Bieber? Because no shade, no shade, no shade, no shade. I ain't heard nothing from Bieber in a while. I really haven't. Well, currently, aren't he and his wife pregnant? I think that's the last thing that I heard. I, I believe I heard that. I could be wrong. Y'all yeah, correct me in the comment section, but I think that's what I heard. I think that's what I heard. That's it, you guys. We'll pause here and move on to the last person that's cutting the food. Shall we? All right, you guys. So the last person cutting the food is Maurice Scott from Love and Marriage Huntsville. So I don't know what the hell is going on down there in the in them Huntsville streets. <laughs> Because first person that was arrested, well, Destiny was on Crime Stoppers. Kiki was on Crime Stoppers. Martel was arrested. Destiny was arrested. Destiny was arrested again. And then Maurice got arrested. That show is going to turn into, it's going to go from Love and Hip Hop Huntsville to Love and Hip Hop Huntsville at the lockup <laughs> because my god this show just gets more fantastical and i know it's not a word but it's more it gets more fan fantastic each season so this here says love and marriage huntsville star marie scott was reportedly arrested by alabama law enforcement over the weekend over a dui charge 
the reality stars arrest has been heavily discussed on social media since then particularly because this is the third time this year that another love and marriage star has been arrested according to madison county sheriff's department scott was detained on may 25th on sunday after afternoon sir afternoon maurice like now here's now hear me out right because I won't even lie to you. While I was in D.C., did I have a few drinks? Absolutely. Had some drinks at the bar, at the at the brunch spot that I went to. Had some drinks at this day party that I went to. But the thing was, I didn't have my ass behind. I didn't have a car while I was in D.C. So I was on foot. The brunch spot was right around the corner from my hotel. The the day party that I went to, and then a little bar that I went to across the street. Ooh, excuse me, I, I got a lift back to my hotel room. Like, I, I, you know, I've gotten to a point. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that in my early 20s when I first started, you know, having fun going out to parties, did I drink and drive? Yeah. Should I have? No. Thank God, you know, thank God that nothing bad happened to me or to anyone else. But in the middle of the day, sir, he was arrested Sunday afternoon and was released on five thousand dollars bond early in the morning of uh of, well sat that means in, they mean Saturday not Sunday. Saturday was the twenty fifth, so he was released on Sunday the twenty sixth. It says no public statements have been made about Scott's arrest by either his lawyer or his spouse. Now y'all, we gonna leave Kimmy out of this. That's all I'm gonna say is we gonna leave Kimmy out of this. Um, so it says, circling back to the DI, Maurice was basically charged with driving under the influence of alcohol as a, okay, so it's a misdemeanor. However, unfortunately, fans of the Alabama reality show, um, know that this is not the first time a cast member of Love and Marriage Huntsville has been arrested. Absolutely not. Did y'all see his mugshot, by the way? That was what I was looking at, his mugshot. He, I'm, I'm see if I can find it. Cause that mugshot, I was like, now you knew you was wrong for that. Ye mm. <laughs> that mug shot of him, I was just like, okay, sir. And you know when you when you look at um, uh, well, over the last few seasons, I haven't looked at Maurice the same as I did when I initially first started watching Love and Marriage Huntsville. Because when I first started watching the show, I you know, well, he's a Scott brother, so never mind. Cause I thought he was the better of the two, of of the, well, of the ones that we, the two that we saw on the show. I thought he was the better of him and his brother, Marceau. But yeah, sir, you gotta do better. That is all I got, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about uh, all the stories that we've talked about, and that'll be it, you guys. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Turn your post notifications on and share the video, you guys. Until the next time. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.